The Flyers five opponents landing 70% of their punches against Moreno. Well, guess what? Delamore is landing exactly 14%. So he's close. <laughs> Short uppercut by Moreno. There's that straight left hand to the body. And that would seem to be the ticket. Go back to the body, and he might be able to get a stoppage or a knockdown. In talking to Delamore yesterday in our fighter meeting, you would have never thought that he would have fought this kind of fight. He said that he had to attack the body. He had to be aggressive. He had to cut off the rail. But you know what? Uh, when you look at the champion, Moreno, that's his game plan to frustrate you. You feel me? When you cannot hit a guy with a, a solid punch, and he's always tagging you, tattooing you. I mean, <laughs> you want to just go somewhere and hide. <laughs> yes, <laughs> really. <laughs> it's frustrating. You know, he's got one knockout in his eight championship uh, wins, Moreno. And... Um, I'm sure he'd like to put another one on that ledger. And a low blow there. No, no, it looked like uh, looked like he has an injury. Oh, an injury. Looks like I'm he's sorry. twisted his ankle. I'm sorry, wow. Or maybe his knee. And now we, they will continue. That could be significant, depending on how serious it is for Moreno. And will that, if that injury is going to bother him, will that make him more aggressive to try and get Delamore out of there? Let's take a look at the show stats. Moreno, wow. aggressive in total punches, connecting on 45%. And you get some slick boxers, you know, they run around the ring and all yes. that, and it, it's really hard to watch. But Ooh, the there's that straight left Ooh. hand of the body, wow. and it drops him again. First, it was a right hook in the second round that knocked De La Mora down. And once again, Moreno landing the body shot. Second knockdown of this fight. Can he put him away, though, as De La Mora gets on his horse wisely? It seems like Moreno has the capability of to, to, to get that power shot downstairs. It's like you're generating a lot of power with those body shots. Delamore laying on the ropes. 30 seconds to go. Two knockdowns in this fight. We're in the sixth for the WBA Bantamweight Championship. Scheduled for 12. Some fighters get more leverage when they throw to the body. And it, oh my. Delamore just looks out of it at this juncture in this fight. We just can't land a glove. We just can't land a glove. Did he get you downstairs again? Another body shot? Please, some water on my head, on my head. How are you feeling, okay? Good almost. There's a dangerous moment this in up. this fight and for he's uh, uh, Anselmo Moreno when there was a trip and uh, it created uh, at least a momentary injury. There you see the legs getting caught up, and that could have been very dangerous for Moreno. As it was, it did affect him, but uh, came back and fought the rest of the round uh, very effectively. And as we see here, Antonio. Yeah, they just, whoa, right to the solar mm. plex. I mean, those are the type of punches that debilitate you, <laughs> like right there, delayed reaction. Al, I want to ask you, if that, if that injury would have caused Moreno to to not be able to go on. How would they judge that or score that? Could he have lost the title on yeah, that? Well, yeah, if you if you can't continue at that juncture, if unless it was ruled that, you know, uh, Delamore created it. it, it Jeff Fennick lost his title that way at one point. So could have happened. We are at the halfway point in this WBA Bantamweight title bout. David Delamora way behind. And he will be challenged to finish this fight. Let's bring in Chuck Giampa. Chuck, your thoughts about what you've seen thus far? Oh, I've got um, Moreno completely dominating. He's fast, he's quick, he's effective. He's going to the head, going to the body. And what's interesting is he'll do a combination, then step back and counter his own punches. So completely dominating. I've got him winning 60 to 52. All right, Moreno has knocked down De La Mora 
with a straight left hand to the body, almost docked him down. Previous to the sixth round with a straight left hand to the body, he knocked him down with a right hook in the second round. Right now, Delamore fighting just to survive. You know, we talked about Delamore training in Mexico, and he said, there's no excuses. If I lose, he's the better man. Interestingly, you would think with all that training, the body work, he would have been able to survive a little better earlier. Maybe it just shows the power Moreno has downstairs. Yeah, I mean, when you train in high altitude, it gives you a great uh, advantage in lung capacity. You're able to fight harder for a longer period of time, but we're just not seeing it. I mean, Moreno has really had his way tonight, and... Uh, these are the skills that I had yeah. saw when he, like, this, you know, did a job on Victor Chinian. I mean, this guy could be, you know, head and shoulders above the rest. Now we just want to see him in with bigger yes. name opponents, Al. Exactly. And that Archinian thing, of course, was a, a good beginning. And, uh, you know, as he dominates Delamora, obviously he's thinking about the Nonito Donaires at 122, or Abner Morris, or if... Morris, in fact, beats Eric Morrell, which remains to be seen, uh, up at 122. Jorge Arce, another name that you can throw around. So, Moreno, as you point out, Antonio, we want to see him in those bigger fights as he goes on. I still feel that I, I don't know how these people, how these fighters are going to solve this puzzle. <laughs> I mean, especially Not with easy. This, especially with this guy delivering those type of body shots. Al. Yeah, that, that's another element that we saw a little bit of against Archinian, but not like this. And, you know, the interesting thing as we look at Delamora, he was prepped for this fight. He fought 12 rounds with a left-handed champion. You know, that's as good as you can do to get ready for this fight. I saw him backstage before the fight. He said, I'm taking Winky right to Pluto. The wow. Kyber Bell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eighth round, scheduled for 12. I've, I've been assigned as Antonio's chaperone at the hotel. <laughs> Just in case Coyote gets rough with you, you know? <laughs> Anselmo Moreno in purple and gold, the champion. Taking on David Delamora. In blue, the challenger from Tijuana, 24-1, 17 KOs. Moreno hasn't lost since 2002. He's fought in many countries. Germany twice, France twice, Venezuela, as well as Haiti, but only the second time. And his story is a, a very interesting story. We alluded to it uh, during his ring walk. And Selmo Moreno, according to him, had bad management to the point where he had defended his title seven times and didn't even have a bank account. He was being paid $200 a week. But uh, things changed for him recently. Yeah, Samson Lukowicz, uh, and his, he got on as his advisor. They turned things around for him, got his life in order. His, his new wife was married for, for two years, has a real estate business with him. So his life has really stabilized. You know, when you hear a tale like that, you, you, you it reminds you of 30, 40 years ago. I, I have never heard of a champion being treated with such disrespect. And uh, I'm just glad that he's in the right hands right now, Golden Boy, and that he's getting his just due for these hard title fights because this is hard work, believe it or not. And I asked him, I said, do you, because of your experience and uh, because you were cheated out of so much money, do you fight with anger? He said, no, I don't fight with anger because I want to prove to myself I'm the best